Okay, hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to go ahead and do the bonus reading for my Virgos that are dealing with a fire sign. Now this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone. Take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest, okay? Anybody interested in the personal reading, my information is always down below. Thank to those who do reach out for those and thank to those who donate to the channel and to those of you who do subscribe. It's very much appreciated. So we're going to be starting with Aries and I am going to timestamp these, okay? So I want to say... What if I say... To Spirit, what is the energy here for my Virgos that are dealing with an Aries? Give me a mood card for the Aries. Virgos dealing with an Aries. What is the energy here? Last shuffle. What is the energy for the Aries? What are we getting stuck on? Okay. <laughs> Give me a clear message. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. So the energy that we have coming out for the Aries, it says brave. It says, I can and I will. You have, I am brave. It says, I am strong and I am fearless. It says, I am my own hero. <laughs> okay, almost make me feel like ego a little bit, but what is the energy for the Virgo? Hmm. So your energy coming out here, Virgos, it says disappointed. It says I expected more. You have at the back, it says I let go of my expectations and accept all that comes my way with a smile. Hmm. So for some of you, even though there is some sort of disappointment here around this Aries energy, it kind of feels like you're still pushing forward. Almost this energy of acceptance. It is what it is, right? All right, spirit. Give me a card for now and a card for going forward for my Virgos that are dealing with an Aries. This Aries energy with the brave card I'm looking at the face, and even though the card says I am brave and I'm fearless, it's almost a, an expression of uncertainty, is what I'm seeing here. But show me more. Virgo's dealing with an Aries. And going forward. Thank you, Spirit. What are we getting stuck on? Hmm. Wealthy man. So for some of you, this Aries could be a wealthy man. Okay. So the first card coming out here, it says the official person. <laughs> that is the Aries card for me. It reminds me of the emperor. And then going forward, we have the main female. Now, what's interesting, someone could be seeing the Number synchronicity, 222. Two, two. You see this? Okay. For some of you, I feel like you may be dealing with an Aries who may be trying to work on some sort of stability. Because this official person is a number 22, which boils down to a four. Okay, which is giving me like the four of wands. Um, some of you could be married to this person or maybe you have been in a long-term relationship. I'm, I'm also hearing the word situationship with this person. But Spirit Grimoire, what is the official person? Where? There's a part of the deck. I've got the Page of Swords and there's that four ones energy. So for some of you, this may be a family member. Okay. You could be getting some sort of communication from this Aries with the Page of Swords. Or this may be an Aries who 
you know, maybe they keep their eye on you somehow. What is this? This Aries could be a boss of yours or someone who sits in some sort of leadership role. What is the message here? Thank you, Spirit. What is the official person? So we have a Queen of Cups coming out here. We have the Four of Swords. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Show me more. Thank you, Spirit. And then we have the Knight of Cups. Now, for some of you, I don't know if this Aries, if you are dealing with a masculine energy, I don't know if um, they have some sort of choice to make or with these two queens coming out here. Now, it could also be that maybe this Aries is seeing you as both of these energies, but I am going to clarify. Who is this Queen of Cups? Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy. The Five of Wands. Hmm. So this may be a third party, okay? Because the Five of Wands does talk about conflict, drama, chaos, that kind of an energy, right? Um, it can talk about arguments here. Why is the Five of Wands here? We've got the Knight of Wands with the Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So like I said, for some of you, this Queen of Cups may be someone that this Aries is involved with somehow. But I don't know if there is arguments here because this person may know that this Aries may want to come towards you with a Knight of Wands, Nine of Pentacles energy here. Page of Wands, the Sun card. Page of Wands can talk about communication and then we have the Sun card here, okay, with the Three of Pentacles. So for some of you, like I said, this may be someone that you have children with, and maybe it's an energy where you have to communicate with this person, okay? But it feels like if they're in another relationship, it's causing some sort of conflict. Because the Three of Pentacles here, it talks about teamwork. What is the Five of Wands with this Queen of Cups? The Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Eh, okay, I don't know. Damn, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Ace of Swords. Yeah, I feel like for some of you, this person may want to make you some sort of offer here. Now, the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse very much talks about something being repetitive, okay? It can maybe talk about um, someone who is maybe bored with working on something, or this could be someone who is maybe bored in their job or with their life or with this person you know it can also talk about maybe there is some sort of arguments here in terms of uh, finances what is the eight of pentacles in the reverse with the five of wands this person could have a lot of debt yeah king of wands came out it kind of gives me a feeling here, if they are arguing with whoever this person is, it kind of makes me feel like this Aries is looking for some sort of an escape route. Um, because the Five of Wands with the King of Wands and the one that he has talks about the Six of Wands, almost like this person, I don't know, it's either they're struggling to have some sort of victory or you're having some sort of victory, Virgos, and, and it's catching this Aries' eye. Give me one more for this King of Wands. Yeah, look at this. The Death card. Planning on ending some sort of situation. They could be dealing with a Scorpio. Page of Pentacles. This person has some great idea to come towards you and make you an offer here. Two of Cups. Two of Wands, though. You see, <laughs> this is why sometimes you have, a, you have to kind of like dig a little deeper, okay? You've got the Two of Wands, which talks about somebody having two paths in front of them. But then you have this Seven of Swords with the World card and the Hierophant. 
it's almost like this person has some sort of strategy, right, to end one situation and head towards another. But I just feel like the way they are kind of doing things it is underhanded here. What is this Queen of Pentacles? The Eight of Wands. <laughs> Again, that energy of coming towards you, right? Um, and this is also an energy for some of my Virgos where, like I said, there may be something happening around you quickly here. Some of you may be planning on traveling. Um, what is the Eight of Wands? King of Pentacles. Oh, we have quite a few people here already. <laughs> um, who is this King of Pentacles with the Eight of Wands? Virgo is dealing with an Aries. It hit that disappointed card. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. You see, if this King of Pentacles isn't another person, okay, like I was saying, it's almost like this King of Wands, this Aries energy is having some sort of vision of being your equal. They see some sort of opportunity when it comes to you about them improving their finances and their stability here. Because the Five of Pentacles is an energy of coming out of the cold. It talks about improvement in your finances so like i said if there's some sort of arguments up here about someone struggling when it comes to money this is someone who's looking for a way out and they feel like you're the way out because you're coming out as the queen of pentacles in the upright which talks about someone who is successful especially for those of you if you have your own business but it talks about you being grounded and financially responsible For others of you, <laughs> uh, clarify this King of Pentacles again. Because for others of you, there may be some sort of opportunity coming towards you. Queen of Swords. Three of Cups in the Reverse. Who is this King of Pentacles? Why is he here with the Eight of Wands, with the Queen of Pentacles? The Three of Pentacles in the upright. I feel like for some of you, there may be someone who is, is maybe trying to decide whether they want to come towards you here. Now, this could, like I said, maybe some sort of business deal or business proposal. It's almost like for some of you, there may be a third energy here where they're kind of in the background here. But it almost feels like they're trying to learn or study or I don't know. It's like watching something before you make a move. Give me one more. Now we've got the Three of Cups with the Three of Pentacles. So somehow, some way, this is definitely a third party situation for some of you. I keep seeing the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck, which talks about a betrayal. But show me more. Three of Cups in the reverse with the Three of Pentacles upright. Seven of Cups. This talks about options. In the world card. And a king of cups. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like for some of you, there's someone here who's watching you in secret, apart from whoever this Aries is. But show me the four of swords. The ace of swords. And the seven of wands. 
it feels like for some of my Virgos, you may have your defenses up here towards this Aries, okay, with the Seven of Wands coming out here. There is definitely an energy of some sort of regret because I feel like something here is either being shown as the truth or there's some sort of clarity that is coming in, okay? Somebody feels like something was an unwise choice here. Show me more about the Four of Swords. Ten of Cups. For some of you, this could have been uh, this could be a family member. This could be someone you have children with. Okay, the Ten of Cups can represent very much a marriage. So again, for some of you, you may have an Aries here who's maybe regretting getting into a relationship or committing to another person. This may also be someone who feels like they sabotaged this situation here, or they at least sabotaged a situation where they could have been emotionally fulfilled. Ten of Cups talks about happy families. It talks about um, reuniting or it talks about, um, you know, almost that energy of, of coming together. But you have your defences up here. What is the Knight of Cups? Three of Wands. Show me more. Seven of Swords, okay, landed on this King of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. What is the Seven of Swords with the Three of Wands? And the Three of Cups. Show me more about the Seven of Swords. Six of Pentacles. And the chariot. Show me more. And the knight of swords. And the full card. Seven of pentacles, the high priestess. For some of you, someone here is intimidated by your intuition. Now, for others of you, with this knight of cups, okay, there may be someone, and it could be this king of pentacles, right, that may want to... Um, come in and make you some sort of offer but with the seven of swords out here it's almost like someone feels that something is challenging what is the six of pentacles and the seven of swords the world card queen of swords in the reverse I feel like someone may be worried about how you communicate or what it is that you would say to them for some of you. Um, I don't know if the deception is about some sort of deal or some something that somebody invested in or something that somebody got paid for with the Six of Pentacles coming out here. For others of you, there's this energy here where it may be in the past or it could be now, right? Some, there's an energy here of celebrating too soon. I don't know if you can hear the birds, but it's almost it almost sounds like they're laughing. Yeah, four of cups. Someone here has some sort of regret. Something here is a missed opportunity. It makes me feel like someone here is seeing something, but they're seeing it too late. What is this main female? Judgment. Yeah, it landed on that Knight of Cups. I don't know if someone here wants to offer you some sort of an apology. Seven of Pentacles. Someone here is definitely looking at what it is that they invested in. Yeah, somebody sees you working very hard. I feel like they see that you're very much protected, balanced here. Look at this. There's... You have the Strength card, the Temperance, the Star card, and the Six of Wands. Some of you definitely could be healers here. But it just feels like an overall energy here, Virgos, where someone is seeing that you have healed from something. That you have regained balance in your life. It's almost that energy of you just being at peace.
This is you having confidence in yourself. For some of you, if you are in the public eye, this is you in an energy where you are very much being praised. I'm hearing commended. Commended for your hard work. Show me more. Who is this main female? Coming out sideways. Any car that comes out sideways is a blockage. I feel like a lot of my Virgos, you, you may be cutting off certain friend groups or maybe you're just keeping yourself to yourself here, right? Some of you, you may not even really be going out at this time. What is the Three of Cups? Why did it come out sideways? Now, like I said, right, if these are people that would, I don't know, celebrating something, it feels like there's nothing to celebrate, but show me more. Because like I said, someone also here could want your forgiveness, okay? But may maybe they're a little bit afraid of coming towards you because the Three of Cups can talk about reunited and it feels so good. What is the Three of Cups? The Page of Wands, communication. Give me one on the Page of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune. And for others of my Virgos, there is something here that may have been delayed, okay? There may be something coming in for you that you're going to be able to celebrate here. But something is shifting. Something is going in your favor with this Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, the Sun card at the bottom of the deck. Queen of Swords. Oh, King of Swords. The Emperor. What is the Wheel of Fortune? Two of Wands. Show me more. It makes me feel like the Ace of Wands, the Seven of Cups. Two of Wands talks about making decisions. Talks about somebody having a choice in front of them. Like I said, I feel like for some of our Virgos, there is a lot of options coming towards you. Some of you are going to have to make some choices here. What is the Seven of Cups? Oh, the devil. Someone could be, there's the Ace of Wands. Someone here could be fighting some sort of addictions. But what is the Seven of Pentacles? What is the energy for my Virgos dealing with an Aries? King of Swords in the reverse. Someone, yeah, someone here is regretting working with a liar. Someone who is dishonest. King of Swords in the reverse. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. This is someone who overdoes their control. This is someone who has a lack of structure. Uses, uses their intelligence in a negative way. It's almost like an energy of... You ever heard the expression, the clever liar? Ten of swords. There was definitely some sort of betrayal here. Ten of Swords talks about being stabbed in the back. Talks about having an enemy around. You can talk about gossip. Someone who is bitter. What is the Ten of Swords? The Empress and the Magician. Spell work and the Ace of Cups. So I don't know if this is a love spell. There definitely could be something here maybe to do with a pregnancy or someone who someone has children with. But I feel like someone here was trying to affect as well someone having new beginnings when it comes to love and romance or trying to affect someone when it comes to self-love. What is this King of Swords in the reverse?
yeah <laughs> landed on that king of wands um five of cups so i don't know if it's this aries who is in the five of cups energy like i said you've got the eight of pentacles in the reverse over here so again maybe someone here regrets working with somebody this is lost sad grief it's remorse regret what is the five of cups What is this five of cups thank you spirit <laughs> landed on that king of wands yeah the seven of swords and what is this the sun card something here is exposed something here has come to light or it is going to it's also making me feel like someone here is feeling like someone stole their happiness Mm. yeah someone was definitely manipulating this situation here could be a gemini we also have virgo energy pisces cancer i don't know why i'm getting this energy of almost with the devil and the ace of wands where maybe someone here was obsessed with somebody but this feels like a sexual addiction. Tell me more about the Aries. Tell me more about the Aries. Thank you, Spirit. Give me six cards. Okay, so first card coming out, it says fantasy. It says daydreaming, it says imagine, and it says fantasize. We have bluff, it says pretending, it says mask, and it says exaggeration. You have the beauty in the reverse. In the upright, it says charming, graceful, and kind-hearted. But it's in the reverse. So is that what the bluff is all about? So some of you may be dealing with an Aries who is like a shapeshifter. Now it could also be saying here, right, with the bluff and the beauty in the reverse. Maybe this is an Aries who kind of, you know, walks around almost like they don't care about you or they don't have feelings or they don't find you attractive. You have ecstasy. It says chasing thrills, excitement. It says good time. This makes me feel like, okay, I mean, the addiction card hasn't come out, but that's what it kind of makes me feel like. Daydreaming, imagine, fantasize, almost like an energy of somebody being spaced out. Show me more. What is the Aries energy? We have clouded judgment. It says illusions, unbalanced and distorted. Hmm. Maybe this is also an Aries who doesn't even know what they feel. Landing straight on top of that King of Wands, we have broken. It says shattered, heartbroken, and destroyed. Now, it could be also with that beauty in the reverse that maybe you are no longer attracted to this person, male or female, but it is a female on that card. Now, we've got confusion at the bottom of the deck, uncertain, unclear, unsure, bitterness resentment anger it says hurtful words so maybe this aries did something can you kind of put your boundaries up here what is the virgo's energy here thank you spirit it 
So we have ascending. Okay, Virgos. It says learning and expansion. It says transcending, preparing for union, new phase. You have the butterfly. It says evolving. It says and growth. It says next phase. It says healing the inner child. It says releasing the past. Well. What is the Virgo's energy? Thank you, Spirit. Oh, Virgo, you have wedding rings. It says union and marriage. It says soul connection, everlasting love and devotion. Some of you are going into a new connection or you are already or you already are in one. But it looks like it's a beautiful connection that is growing, that is evolving, that looks like it's going in the right direction. All right. So we have, we have not today, it says boundaries and hurt, it says avoiding conversation, it says not dealing, still upset. So some of you, you know, it took for some sort of pain to happen for you to be kicked into this energy, okay? And that's just sometimes the way spirit does it, right? Um, that energy of learning, going through the pain and growing, okay? But it makes you that much more wiser um, to certain situations, yeah, some of you, some of someone here was dealing with a snake here. Someone who likes to compete with other people. I'm also hearing maybe someone who likes to make threats. It says the other woman look over your shoulder. All right. What is the Virgo's energy? Okay, Virgo. Some of you may be going into a twin flame connection. It says yin, yang and balance, union and duality. It says complement. It says polar opposites. Oh, and with wedding rings, we've got shock. <laughs> but it doesn't feel like a bad tower. I feel like something is going to take you by surprise. I don't know. We do have the king and the queen of pentacles out here with the eight of wands in the middle. Something happening at great speed. It says sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, transformation. And, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, very quickly, because this section went on a little bit longer than I'd hoped. What is the energy in love? Virgo's dealing with an Aries. So, we do have heart-to-heart -heart conversations coming out here. It says, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And one more. Thank you. And then we have it is safe for you to love. It says open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So for some of you, this Aries or someone here is coming in to have um, some sort of conversation here with you, right? Yeah, but you see we have unrequited love at the bottom of the deck with deception. And then we have forgiven and learning. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. All right, let's see what these are. Virgo's dealing with an Aries. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy here in love? Show me. So we have, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I lost myself for a little while. And then you have, I left when I saw you with someone, but that was in the reverse. So I don't know. Okay. Maybe if there was a third party, like I said, maybe someone here is, I don't know, getting rid of it. Or not rid of it, rid of them. Excuse me. All right. Give me one card going forward for the Aries. One card. 
card going forward for the Aries, we have pride. Hmm. And we have victim consciousness at the bottom of the deck. So this is someone for some of you that likes to play victim. Definitely it could be someone who has a pride and ego problem. Give me a card going forward for the Virgos. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. So you have a number 26, which boils down to an 8. And it says it's always tea time. It says eternity, endless moments, and repetition. This makes me feel like makes me feel like celebrations, almost like the three of cups energy. Endless moments. Eternity, something lasting forever. Could be this new relationship. Bottom of the deck, you have a number five. So for some of Virgos, it's again, you know, emphasizing that for some of you, you have changed somehow, some way. It says becoming braver. It says resilience. It says experience. It says growing stronger and a fresh perspective. Yeah, you see things differently. You had to learn a hard lesson for some of you, right? With a disappointment card coming out at the beginning. But we know what it said at the back. I let go of expectations and expect and accept all that comes my way with a smile. So Virgos, let us move on to Sagittarius. So give me a couple minutes. Let me put these away. Okay, so for my Virgos that are dealing with a Sagittarius, what is the mood here? Thank you, Spirit. For my Virgos that are dealing with a Sag. What is the energy of the Sagittarius? So we have on guard, it says wary. It says, I learned from experience to make the right choices for myself. It says, I trust my intuition to guide me. All will be well. So another cautious card here. What is the energy of the Virgos dealing with the Sag? Okay, so that was valued and excited. Can I get one card? What is the Virgos energy? Okay. So the card coming out for you, Virgos, it says confident. It says, I am who I am. It says, comfortable in my own skin. And then it says, I totally and fully believe in myself. I am strong and powerful. I am confident. Okay, Virgos. All right. <laughs> Give me a card for now and a card for going forward. Virgos dealing with a Sagittarius. So is this Sagittarius a little bit wary of your confidence? <laughs> Are you coming across a little bit intimidated? Where goes in with a Sag? Oh, wealthy man in the reverse. Why do I feel like for some of you, you could be dealing with someone maybe, maybe this Sagittarius for some of you is in the workplace. going forward yeah we've got poverty at the bottom of the deck oh with a coughing card occupation yeah so the card going forward is unexpected income so maybe that's why i saw the po um puffing <laughs> Maybe that's why I saw the poverty card with the death card, right? Maybe something here is changing when it comes to someone's finances. What is the wealthy man in the reverse? What 
why am I getting this energy where uh, there may be a Virgo here where maybe you were dealing with a Sagittarius. I don't know if they were helping you financially. I don't know if they were like the breadwinner or whatever, right? But it's almost like maybe they, it's an energy where they felt like if they walked away here, um, you would struggle financially. But I feel like maybe you, for someone you did at first, but it kind of feels like you pull yourself out of that hole. What is the wealthy man in the reverse? Where goes in with a Sagittarius? The moon card. Yeah, it's almost like I feel like someone here tried to cause somebody some sort of instability. The world. Yeah, the hermit underneath the moon. So I don't know if this is someone who ghosted you or I don't know if you're dealing with someone who is. Um, I almost want to use the word selfish. I don't know if somebody wanted you in a space of fear and anxiety here. What is the world? What is the world? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. The Two of Cups. Yeah, I don't know if this was some sort of a partnership or it could be a relationship here. Clarify the moon. Yeah, I feel like someone was trying to hold back some sort of finances or, like I said, put you in a position where you've had to budget or watch what it is that you spend. But you see, I feel like because for some of you, maybe you it, this could have been a marriage for sure. But yeah, the, the chariot, the strength card and the temperance, I feel like because you don't give up, because you show some sort of inner strength here, balance comes in for you. Things start to move forward. I'm seeing the star cards. Something heals. What is the moon? The lovers. What is the lovers with the moon? Queen of Swords. Who's this Queen of Swords? The Page of Swords. I don't know, for some of you dealing with Sagittarius, you may find out about uh, another person involved in this situation, Lovers in the Moon. This could be someone who maybe was hiding another option. Maybe you see some messages or something like that. I'm even hearing a phone call, so I don't know. Someone may even call you and tell you some sort of truth. This could even be you finding out somebody speaking to another person online. What is the hermit? The page of wands. Yeah, and I was hearing if you go looking for something, you're going to find it. Page of wands talks about communication. And what did I just say? Even on this card, it says phone calls. But it could be like a text message or a voice note or something. You may find out that someone here was flirting with another person. What is the page of wands with the lovers? Ten of cups. Knight of cups. Yeah, you could be married to this person and you find out that they're making offers to other people. But what is the world card? Six of Swords, yeah, someone here is moving to calmer waters. Mm, something here is complete, it's over. What is the Two of Cups? Page of Pentacles. What's the Page of Pentacles? king of cups i really feel like <laughs> i really feel like um the way i'm kind of hearing it is almost like this is maybe someone for some of you who kind of it, almost like i heard spreading themselves thin you know this may be someone who makes 
like I said, romantic gestures to other people. They may even buy these other people gifts or they take, you know, these maybe people out for drinks or things like that here. But for others of you, give me one on this King of Cups. Yeah, I feel like someone here with the Seven of Cups, they have options. And this definitely could be a husband, someone that you have children with. This could be a father figure. This may even be someone like your boss trying to make you some sort of romantic offer here. What is this King of Cups with a page of pentacles? The judgment. Mm. And for others of you, there may be someone here who wants your forgiveness. Queen of Wands. What is the judgment? The Ace of Wands. Mm. Yeah, someone may be awakened to somebody. Making suggestions to other people. What is this Ace of Wands first? What is the judgment with the Ace of Wands? King of Pentacles. Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Swords. Okay, do you know what? For some of you, you may find something out about the same sex relationship here. King of Cups, King of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands. Knight of Cups. What is this unexpected income? Ten of Wands. This King of Cups is trying to come out again. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if someone here is struggling to provide for a family. What is a Ten of Wands? Because this talks about something being a burden, right? And it can talk about something being too heavy or someone having, you know, too much responsibilities or someone who is stressed. What is a Ten of Wands? I feel like someone has had enough of something, maybe had enough of somebody giving to two or someone had enough of feeling like they are being breadcrumbed by this Sagittarius. What is the Ten of Wands? King of Cups. I don't know. Okay, King of Cups, come out. <laughs> okay, show me more. What is the Ten of Wands? Thank you, Spirit. Three of Cups coming out in the reverse. I'm seeing the Two of Swords. Three of Cups in the reverse. It talks about overindulgence, gossiping, bitchiness, a lack of social life. What is this King of Cups? Virgo's dealing with a Sagittarius. Coming out sideways, landed on the Two of Cups, the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands talks about waiting for your ships to come in. But again, maybe someone here is involved with someone who is at a distance. This could also be someone who is making some sort of plan. So maybe someone here is trying to improve their finances so they can move away from a situation. Because I feel like someone here is at some sort of a crossroads when it comes to love. What is the Ten of Wands? Seven of Cups. Three of Cups in the reverse. The Six of Cups. I almost want to say that someone here may be stuck in a situation because of children or maybe because they've been with somebody a long time. But I feel like someone here is craving some other option. What is the King of Cups? And they could be keeping this to themselves here. What is the King of Cups? Yeah, it's almost like I'm hearing, when will I see you again? You've got the Four of Wands coming out here. What is the three of wands? The nine of wands in the reverse. It makes me feel like someone here, it's almost like an energy, as I'm telling you, it makes me feel like someone's in a relationship with someone, okay? And whatever is keeping them together, I don't feel like it's love, at least not on one person's um, part. Because I feel like someone here is desiring something else. Nine of Wands in the reverse. It talks about refusing to compromise. It says giving, stubborn, rigid. It says last one standing. What 
what is the four of wands and the nine of wands in the reverse? Queen of Swords. What is the Queen of Swords? King of Pentacles. And the chariot. Oh Lord, what is going on here? Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> the full card. Somebody wants to take a leap of faith in a new direction, but so I don't know if it's because of finances or stability, or like I said, this could be a marriage why somebody stays around. Spirit, show me more about the Sagittarius's energy. I don't know why I'm also getting someone here may want somebody to move out of a home, and maybe somebody's like, you know what, I ain't going anywhere. Maybe I ain't going anywhere until I get my finances right. This could even be maybe wanting to get finances for a divorce. I saw the Queen of Swords there. All right. What's the Sagittarius's energy? So you have intuition. It says heart song, telepath. It says inner knowing. Landed on the two cups. Show me more. Or maybe someone here has said something to another person and they're like, being stubborn, like in terms of, I will never tell you about my plans or I will never admit to maybe wanting or having somebody else here. But maybe your intuition is telling you something about this person. What is the Sagittarius energy? We have foundation. It says establish family and security. And we have perspective it says better oh, look at that it landed on a two of cups it says perspective it says better off happiness it says clear headspace so maybe whoever the third party is for those of you where this resonates maybe this you know some somebody just feels like they're more compatible with somebody else or maybe that they can be themselves what is intuition You have confusion. It says uncertain, unclear and unsure. We have pride. It says arrogance, ego and stubborn. So that's twice we've had the energy of stubborn here. You've got commitment at the bottom of the deck. Marriage, promises and fidelity. But then you see right behind it, we've got resistance. It says secret admirer, suppressing and timid. Coming in the reverse, it says bluff, pretending mask and exaggeration. Yeah, I feel like someone here in this situation, they have to, you know, pretend. But I feel like they really wish that they that they wouldn't have to. I really feel like someone wants a new beginning, but if they're already attached to a situation, it's almost like, like I said, you know, this is someone who feels like, damn, it's that energy of um, caught between a rock and a hard place. And I, I mean, uh, and I feel like for some of you, I'm not even going to lie, I feel like for some of you, this may be a same-sex relationship. Spirit, give me one card. This is Sagittarius hiding. What, what are they hiding here? Show me more. Okay. What's after the pathway? Court. 
courtship, yes. Okay, so for some of you, it may not be same sex, right? Because you've got privileged lady, main male pathway in courtship. I just feel like someone desires to be with someone else. But what is the energy in love? There goes the only way by Sagittarius. <laughs> Where is the love? <laughs> what is the energy in love, spirit? Okay. We have wedding. This situation involves marriage. Anything else? Yeah, you've got to love yourself first. It says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Make the effort. Show me more about this love energy. There goes in with the Sagittarius. Thank you, Spirit. So you have, you came closer than anyone. You have, I don't react when people mention you. It says, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. You have, I love you. It says, I know I messed up everything. And then you have, sitting on top of the moon <laughs> with the lovers, okay? I remember every detail of that day. Mmm. Oh, spicy. What is the Virgo's energy here? <laughs> I don't know, Virgo. It really makes me feel like for some of you, you may really be unaware of, of this, okay? And, and I feel like maybe that's why the Sagittarius's energy came out as wary and on guard. Are you going to find out? <laughs> Are you going to know? That kind of an energy. What is the Virgo's energy here? So you have date. It says get back out there. It says meeting someone new. It says setting a date. It says date online. So this could be someone new or somebody that you met online. Coming in the reverse, it says cutting down. It says cutting out separation. Stop the pattern. Silent treatment. But it came in the reverse. So someone is not cutting something out. They haven't stopped some sort of pattern. So this definitely could be a Sagittarius that has maybe done this before. And it's almost like I'm hearing for some of you, this could have been a Sagittarius where they assured you that, hey, listen, that they would never do it again. They would never, never jeopardize this marriage, relationship, family, situation, whatever. But I am also hearing we can't help who we love. What is the Virgo's energy? We have shock. It says sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany and transformation. Clarify these three cards. Almost coming in the reverse here. Okay. It says blowing kisses. It says unconditional love, given, receiving, fairness and love. It says affection returned. For so for some of you, you may have noticed that maybe this Sagittarius's behavior changed. When it comes to romance or maybe when it comes to you guys doing the things that you used to do. I'm hearing maybe the things that you used to do in the beginning of the relationship. For those of you where this isn't new. We have old school. It says outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Hmm. What is shock coming in the reverse? In the upright, it says the golden mirror. It says narcissist. It says love bombing. It says self-absorbed and one-sided. What did I say? Sudden change, surprise, epiphany, transformation. This may have been someone that says to you, hey, listen, I've changed. I'm not that same person I used to be. I don't do those things anymore. I'm serious about this relationship, Virgo. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's not funny. It came in the reverse. It's almost like, hmm. Be careful that someone here is not staying with you for finances. Give me one card going forward for the Sagittarius. We have family and tribe. Yeah. It almost feels like, like I said, this may be someone who, if you have children with them, it's almost like them saying, well, they're not going anywhere. And like I said, I feel like, but they're not going anywhere, but are they happy staying? Sadness at the bottom of the deck. Give me a card going forward for my Virgos. Thank you. So we have no need to fear. It says, remember how powerful you are. So is that why you're moving forward in the terms of, hey, listen, I'm confident. I totally believe in myself. I can do this all by myself. So the bottom of the deck, mortality. Life is brief, bright, beautiful, and yours to live. But she still do look a little bit sad at herself. It looks like her eyes are watering up. So, Virgos, that is if you are dealing with a Sag. Let us move on to Leo. Give me a second. Okay, so for my Virgos that are dealing with a Leo. What is the energy here, Spirit? Virgos dealing with a Leo. Give me a mood card for the Leo. I don't know, Virgos. Is it me or does the energy just feel real calm today? <laughs> What is the energy for Virgos dealing with a Leo? What's Leo's energy spirit? Okay. Huh. So we have hurt. It says we all feel pain from time to time. It says choked up, tearful, and sometimes confused. It says hurting makes me human, and I will... It says, and will guide me in the future. It says, I will learn from this. Okay, so is the Leo learning some sort of lessons here? What's Virgo's energy? Okay. Uh, I don't know, Virgos, do you have mixed feelings as well? <laughs> because few flipped over and it says, I can breathe again. It says relief. And it says everything happens at the right moment. I am enriched by all experiences and now let go and move on gratefully and gracefully. But, okay, what's this? Strong, okay. <laughs> but the card that flipped out for you, Virgos, is sad. So, like I said, is this, this, is this a bit of a mixed emotions thing? It says it's okay to feel sad. All feelings are temporary. It says, in the meantime, I will flow in the universal stream of hope and happiness. Virgo's dealing with a Leo. Now, with that energy and, and that energy of relief also flipping over, I feel like for some of you, this may just be like for some of you where you're just separated from this Leo, right? Um, oh, okay. I don't know why I heard for some of you, this person may be locked up. Um, but show me more. Maybe you just live at a distance from each other. There goes the with Leo. Okay, so the marriage card is coming out. What is this? The lovers and the house. So you could be married to this person. I hope some of you, this ain't a third party situation where you might be this person's lover and they're actually married to someone else. Oh, what's going on today? Give me a card for going forward. Virgo's dealing with a Leo. 
Damn, is there any going forward? Expectation at the bottom of the deck. Privileged lady, bad health, despair. Can I get a card for going forward? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Occupation. For some of you, is this a work romance? Oh, I heard affair. <laughs> you get sad when it's the end of the day and they got to go home to their wife or husband. <laughs> I hope not, Virgos. <laughs> Two of Wands. Show me more. Page of Cups. Knight of Cups. <laughs> Three of Cups has wanted to show its face. And the Seven of Cups. Someone here has options. Or someone here, like it says, may be confused about whether they should leave a certain situation behind, okay? Because I'm not only getting the Eight of Cups energy here, but I'm also getting the Nine. It's almost like... <laughs> Someone would have to walk away or abandon another situation in order to go towards their wish fulfillment. Two of Wands talks about choices. What is a Two of Wands? Yeah, Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Two of Cups. Did this start out as some sort of friendship or is this a colleague? What is a Two of Wands? It's almost like they're showing me, like, you know, um, when people work together and then maybe like on a Friday night, they'll say, you know, we're going down X, Y and Z to have a drink. Come with us. I don't know if something started like that. You have a king of pentacles. Yeah. Energy of someone's husband. What is a king of pentacles? Virgo's dealing with a Leo. <laughs> You got the King of Wands coming out here in the reverse. What is the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands? Page of Swords. For some of you, I don't know if there was some harsh words said between you and this Leo. Because the King of Wands in the reverse can talk about someone who is rude, forceful, can talk about someone who is a bully, a tyrant, someone who is impulsive, abusive, nasty. What's the Page of Swords? You may even feel like you have to kind of watch your words around this person. So definitely this could be someone with a temper. Four of Wands. This could be a family member. Or maybe like I said, someone here said some hurtful things. What is this Knight of Cups? Oh, okay. So for some of you, you may be dealing with a Leo who may be on purpose causes some sort of arguments here. And I don't know if it's because so they can leave and go somewhere else. It almost feels like a, a plan or this is how this person operates. What is the Knight of Cups? The Six of Wands? What is the Six of Wands? Whoa, okay. Ah, uh, so quite a few cards. Justice, Six of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. There could also be some sort of arguments here over finances or money. Or uh, this could even be an energy of like jealousy. The devil in the reverse. Hmm. Yeah, someone here may be reckless. Could be when it comes to their spending. It could be other things, right, with the devil. Or maybe you just feel like you clash with this person. What is the Six of Wands with the Knight of Cups? Mm. 
Virgo's dealing with a Leo. Yeah, the Eight of Cups. I'm also hearing that someone here may be upset that either someone has got into a new relationship or they've made something public here. Uh, maybe, uh, you know, maybe someone announced their engagement or that they're getting married. Someone could have announced a pregnancy, right, that they're expanding their family or that they found the person they want to be with. Uh, and someone here is heartbroken. I'm hearing something about trying to steal my shine. Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, the High Priestess. What is this Page of Cups? The Eight of Wands. And the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you may also be speaking to somebody here, right, with this Page of Cups. Maybe you, like I said, I don't know if this is something new or you're just communicating with someone or it's very lighthearted, right? It's like that energy of flirting here. Some of you may also be getting an apology. What is the Seven of Cups? The Ace of Pentacles landed on that Six of Wands. And the five of pentacles. This is what I'm saying. I feel like for some of you, you may have somebody who is jealous of your stability. What is the ace of pentacles? Coming out sideways. Yeah. Is the seven of pentacles. So for some of you, like I said, this may be like has to do with work or a business deal or a partnership here. And maybe you have chosen not to work with this Leo energy. Some of you may even change jobs. What is the Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles? The Temperance. Yeah, some of you just want peace. What is this occupation energy? Virgo's dealing with a Leo. Thank you, Spirit. The Magician. I'm seeing a Queen of Cups. What is the magician with the Queen of Cups? Ace of Swords. And the Eight of Swords. What is the magician? Sun card, and what is the Ace of Swords? The Four of Cups. Someone here may miss some sort of opportunity because something here may come to light, okay, about this magician energy. Now, the magician energy can talk about manipulation, all right, um, but it can also talk about some sort of spell work, all right? Maybe someone here paid somebody to do something. But for others of you, I feel like you may be manifesting something here. Clarify the Magician and the Sun card. The Eight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like somebody paid somebody to do something. So what is the Ace of Swords with the Four of Cups? The Three of Cups. Oh, I don't know. For some of my because I'm hearing something about a confusion spell. But I, I see the Ace of Swords. There is clarity. There's truth that comes out here. Something gets exposed. So what is this Queen of Cups? The Nine of Cups. That makes the Ten of Cups. This could be a family member or somebody you have family with. What is the Queen of Cups with the Ten of Cups? Or somebody sees you as wish fulfillment here, right? So again, it's either someone here is feeling foolish about something or someone here wants to take a leap of faith. Someone here may be in their emotions about somebody going in a brand new direction. King of Swords. Now, someone could definitely be in their head about something that you said, male or female, okay? Um, yes, I don't know if this King of Swords is also an energy of um, 
maybe some sort of legal situation. Somebody is definitely seeing or speaking the truth in something. What is the Eight of Swords? Page of Swords. What is the Page of Swords or the Eight of Swords? The Three of Cups. Show me more. Because someone, what are you in your head about? The Empress, somebody reuniting with an Empress energy, a Divine Feminine. Give me one more. The moon card. And again, I don't know if there's something here maybe hidden. Um, what is the moon? Maybe hidden about a pregnancy or a child. Because the three of cups talks about celebrations. And then you've got judgment. Someone wants forgiveness here. They want to reunite. Eight of pentacles keeps showing up. So I don't know if someone is also in their head about maybe something that they're seeing, watching, hearing. Because the Page of Swords can talk about curiosity. Give me more about the Leo's energy. Thank you, Spirit. So we have hoping. It says expecting faith and manifesting. Yeah, I see someone having some sort of hope that wherever they're going to, it, it, it brings some sort of success. It's also the Nine of Cups energy here, which talks about wish fulfillment, your hopes and dreams coming true. Virgo's dealing with a Leo. You have chemistry. It says attraction, spark and passion. And then we have influences. It says attachments, third parties and peers. And that landed on hurt. You have mistakes. It says misunderstood, victim. It says lost soul. Oh, we have the curse card. What did I just say about someone paid for something here? But I feel like someone's going to see through whatever this is. It says curse. It says hex, witchcraft, negative mind. And then we have distracted. It says sidetracked, change and delays. And it did come out sideways. So it's almost like someone tried to cause some sort of delay on purpose here. Yeah, we've got confessions at the bottom of the deck and shallow. And then we got return. What is the energy in love? So we got almost coming out in the reverse. So someone could have been dealing with a karmic soulmate here, but we have soulmate. It says, yes, this is your soulmate. Maybe someone was trying to stop someone from going towards their soulmate. It says, I'm starting to understand our connection. We have, I couldn't let you get close to me. I hide behind material things. We have, we both know I'm not the one for you. And then we have, I knew exactly what I was doing. We have, I can't stop thinking about you. And then we have, I will wait for a sign from you. What is the Virgo's energy here? And then I'm going to go. So we've got date back out here. It says get back out there. It says meeting someone new. It says setting a date. It says date online. We have grounding. It says stability and security, performance. It says growth and endurance. You have, oh, Virgos, it says engagement ring, it says higher commitment, eternity, partnership and union, it says completion. So 
clarify these three cards. Thank you, Spirit. You have, okay. Separation is wanting to show itself, right? And we do have sad out here already. So again, maybe this is something for some of you where maybe it didn't even really get off the ground, okay? Because you have, with the date card, it says separation. It says sadness, bitterness, missing you, thinking about you, uncertain of future. Or it could be this Leo who is in that energy where they kind of like maybe see you dating again and they kind of like, well, I don't know what's going to happen between us. Yeah, we got picture. It says looking at pictures, missing you, nostalgia. It says make new memories. completely flipped out the deck and went on the floor but it was a karmic relationship it says resentments triggers it says perception it says intensity letting go turmoil and fleeting but give me one more card if it's meant to come back out it will <laughs> all right so we have the death card it says the relationship is over no second chances it says grow and transform it says what's dead is dead mm. we have addictions at the bottom of the deck Someone could just drink a lot of coffee with a coffee cup and addiction here. But it does say codependent, obsession, restraint, possession and control. It says emotional block. Give me a card going forward for the Leos. Let's give it a shuffle. Thank you, Spirit. So we have help from above. Mm. And then we have discover your life purpose. So we did uh, we did have out here, I'm starting to understand our connection and this soulmate energy, right? So I don't know, maybe this Leo is learning something here. Maybe you came into this person's life to help them understand something or see something from a different perspective. What is the Virgo's energy? What is the Virgo's energy going forward? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so we've got two. Yeah, what did I say? At the bottom of the deck, you've got find the lesson. It says discover the purpose in a situation. It says trust that you are learning. Now, the two that came out, the first one says no need to fear. It says remember how powerful you are. And then you have a moment's regret. It says nostalgia, idolizing the past, fearing you made a mistake. So some of you, you know, maybe you're kind of in this energy where, like I said at the beginning, maybe you're a little bit confused as well about this situation, you know, because maybe some of you really like this person or I don't know. Like it says, maybe there was a strong connection, but maybe you just know that for some of you that this connection just isn't good for you or it wasn't meant to last forever but Virgos, that is the energy that I've picked up here today. It has felt very quiet, which I'm not complaining, <laughs> you know. Um, but if anything did resonate with you, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But Virgos, cross watcher, if this is where we part, guys, stay safe, love and light.